Oh hi, I is the bearded Snorlax, and this is the mini Snorlax, and one of our favorite things to do is get all nice and cozy on the couch and play some of the most relaxing games of all time. What? What? Tom Nook is a crook. So, we're here to guide you towards getting that new super cozy game you just can't get enough of. We've put together a top 10 list of games like this one, where you're a spirit swimming down a river, meeting adorable animals along the way, and this game where you play as a cute witch who delivers packages to the kind townspeople of a small island. We've also invited in a few of my friends who are essentially experts when it comes to cozy games and cozy streams. And all the games that we're talking about here have a timestamp for your convenience, as well as a link in the description if you want to know more, if you want to follow them, if you just want to see more cozy goodness. Either way, get that onesie on, get that blanket out, and get all cozy by the fire, because we're going to dive into 10 cozy games that you should definitely be excited for. Okay, so technically this is an honorable mention, but we had to include this game here. A Corgi's Cozy Hike, and yep, that's its name, is about a flying corgi going off on an epic and very therapeutic adventure. Soaring through the sky, sailing the calm seas, and discovering treasure, all while looking for the coziest nap spots. No need to rush in this cute pixel art game. Relax and enjoy something wholesome in a bite-sized little world. With islanders to meet and superpowers to unlock, you just go around bringing a little bit of happiness wherever your adventure takes you. Now, this kind of feels like cheating, but I mean, cozy is literally in its name. So that's why we're here. Also, apparently 10% of the proceeds from the game are going towards animal shelters, which is pretty cool too. Either way, Corzy, uh, Corgi's Cozy Hike is coming out on PC sometime this year. This next game is one that really makes you go, whoa, when you first see it. Tiny Glade is a small, relaxing game about doodling castles. And man, does it look like magic when you kind of see it in action. It's all gridless, there's no management, and there's no combat. But there are some very cute sheep. This game just wants you to sit back, relax, doodle, and draw away as it makes really cool, awesome structures and castles for you. It has a beautifully calming atmosphere to it. There are some really cool details like ivy growing up the walls, and it all happens so seamlessly that you feel like anything you make should probably be up for an award or something. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really impressed by this game, and it's got the making for a perfect wind down type style game too. So if you've been meaning to switch careers into castle building lately, then uh, get ready because Tiny Glade is getting cozy with you here on PC sometime in 2023. Without a doubt, the next game on our list here has the most unique and beautiful art style I've seen for an indie game in a long time. And that's saying something. Nyad is a game made by a solo developer who wanted to make a personal, wholesome adventure about connecting with nature. Travel through a river with the Nyad as you interact with its fauna and flora, as you discover little secrets and find peaceful and adorable animal friends helping them along their way. In classical mythology, the Nyad is a nymph presiding over fountains, wells, springs, streams and brooks and other bodies of fresh water. Your journey will find you exploring forests, cave, a lake and other calming places until you reach the sea. I can't tell you just how much of a standout this art style is. It truly makes this game spring to life. <laughs> a wonderful, relaxing, and cozy journey awaits you here, and I personally can't wait to dive in. <laughs> As Nyad comes out sometime this year on PC and the Switch. I've tried my best to make sure this list has a good amount of variety in terms of different kinds of cozy games, and House Flipper 2 is truly in a league of its own. It's exactly like it sounds. Buy and renovate rundown houses or build up new one from scratch and relax in a cozy house to call home. Tear down old walls, paint up new ones, resize that kitchen for more guests, or just whack things with your hammer when you decide to renovate the bathroom again for the fifth time. <laughs> There's also more to these houses than it may seem. Stories to discover within the walls and an actual story mode. Friendly residents are ready to entrust you with their homes. And there's also a sandbox mode. That means you could just do whatever you like, whatever cozy time means to you. The original game was a smash hit and I have no doubt that this one here will be just equally as satisfying considering it's being made on a uh, 
great foundation. <laughs> House Flipper 2 comes out on PC sometime this year. Now, I do like to consider myself a bit of an animal person, but I am ashamed to admit that I've never ever ridden a horse before. Perhaps I may fix that here in this next game. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the Ranch of Rivershine. It's time to saddle up and build your very own horse ranch, settling into a new town on a wild plot of land. The townsfolk are here to help you on your journey, train your horses, raise your own fowls, and cultivate crops to feed your affectionate little animal friends. And of course, you can ride your horse down Meadow Pass, along the coast, or even compete to make your horse the champion. Even the developer's name, Cozy Bee Games, tells you all you need to know with what kind of game you're getting into here. So, please won't you saddle up with me because I'm afraid I'll probably fall off the horse and embarrass myself. <laughs> As the Ranch of Rivershine comes out to you sometime this year on PC. Our next cozy game is already quite the success story, even before its launch. Having crushed its Kickstarter pledge with over 100 million billion euros raised, Mika and the Witch's Mountain looks to be one of the coziest games you'll find here in 2023. A cute fantasy adventure about an aspiring witch, Mika, who delivers packages on her broom to the kind townspeople of a small island. Discover secrets of the mountain while getting to know its charming inhabitants as you relax and soar off on the super cozy island adventure. This game reminds me in the best way of the old Nintendo GameCube days and that wholesome fun energy. With a bit of Zelda Wind Waker and a bit of Mario Sunshine, this really takes that for inspiration. Perhaps this cozy game will set your heart as soaring as well with nostalgia. Either way, hold on to your hat because Mika and the Witch's Mountain comes out on Xbox, PC, all the platforms sometime this year. So, you beauties have probably been wondering, hey cheese, this is a cozy games list, where are all the farming games at? Well my friends, we have arrived. Puff Pals Island Skies is a cuteness overload, intentionally trying its best to be the absolute coziest game you could play. With its wholesome life simulator gameplay, you collect, farm, customize, and explore new lands with cute and fluffy Puff Pals. Live off the land as you enjoy the sights on your floating island paradise. You explore these islands, find out the lore, or you can just mingle with the inhabitants as they set up a relaxing lifestyle in a really peaceful place. It's an incredibly adorable art style and easily some of the most chill energy I've seen in a game in a while. It's no wonder that this game also smashed its Kickstarter goals. So you should probably prescribe plentiful play dates of Puff Pals here soon. <laughs> Either way, Puff Pals is coming into Alpha on PC and all other platforms sometime later down the road. Oh, uh, hi, uh, Mini Snorlax here for a little Snorlax intermission. Just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, we're pretty new to this whole YouTube thing, so any uh, of the love and, you know, support would mean a lot to us. Anyways, hopefully you got a great cozy game so far, and if not, well, we got two great guests that are going to give you some cozy games. Take it away, Virgil, with the editor's choice. Are you a fan of the classic 90s era RPGs? Or maybe you're interested to experience what they were all about. Sea of Stars is exactly what you're looking for. It is a turn-based RPG by developer Sabotage Studio, who are known for their previous game, The Messenger. Sea of Stars takes place in the same universe as that game, and actually serves as a prequel to it. The game features familiar turn-based combat, with timed hits and multi-character combo attacks. The world exploration is unshackled, allowing you ultimate freedom in moving around, and no concerns over random encounters stopping you from adventuring. A rich cast of characters will give you plenty of story arcs to experience. The game features full-on dynamic lighting, pushing the limits of what was ever possible in 2D pixel art games. They've even got legendary composer Yasunori Mitsuda on board, of 90s era fame, from titles such as Chrono Trigger and Xenogears. Check out Sea of Stars on August 29th on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and the Nintendo Switch. Hello everyone, my name is Biddy. I am a Calico Cat VTuber who loves cozy games and good vibes and just lots of cute things. The cozy game that 
I'm most excited for to play this year is the remake of a classic that many may or may not know, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. And it's now been renamed to Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, but it is an unforgettable tale of friendship, family, farming, and so much more. In Wonderful Life, you could take on your father's farm where you can grow crops, a variety in each season. You can also grow trees, you can have animals, and you can even get a dog. It gets, it's, it's so cute. You even get to name them yourself. And, and you also can find a lifelong partner. Thankfully, a story of seasons, a wonderful life. You get to choose what your farmer looks like and you get to experience your family that you have grow up with you and see them interact with your farm and more. And it's just so beautiful and just... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> if, if I may say, I believe it has inspired many other games of the same genre from Stardew Valley and more. So if you like games like Stardew Valley, if you like other Harvest Moons, if you love farming sims in general, this game is for you. And if you are in the West, in North America, Canada, and so on, on June 27th, 2023, you can play this game on Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series, PlayStation 5, and Steam. And yeah, I hope you all will tune in sometime. I enjoy providing a comfy place for folks to unwind and relax in. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Happy gaming and stay cozy. Bye. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Biddy, for your expert pick here for a great cozy game. Appreciate that a lot. All right, time for a dedicated indie pick. Though, to be fair, a lot of these games are indie. This next one though, Terra Nil, really blew me away when I first saw it. Usually when you have a city builder game, you're curating the landscape, destroying things to build your structures, your towns, your fortresses. But here, this game is all about helping restore a ravaged environment, helping nature come back and turn a barren wasteland into a beautiful place once more. Turn dead soil into fertile grassland, clean polluted oceans, plant sprawling forests, and create the ideal habitat for animals as they migrate into your lands to call their new home. Then recycle your buildings and leave no trace that you were even there. Procedurally generated, progress through phases, and lush hand-painted environments mixed with some amazing music. It's a really cool premise for a game, especially since it's subverting the genre in a really fun and fresh way. Either way, get your sprinklers out, get lots of grass seed, and tons of animal poop, because Terranil comes out on March 28th for PC. All right, our top pick for cozy games coming out this year needs to be a special one. So how about a game that's like mixing Stardew Valley with Pokemon? Yes, that's right. Welcome to Moonstone Island. Explore a pixel art open world, learn alchemy, farm crops, go on dates, and even fall in love. You collect a bunch of cute spirits and you can battle with them or become best friends with them as you adventure around and settle into this cute, cozy life sim game. With over a hundred plus procedurally generated islands to explore, you're off to build a new home and have some personalized, amazing adventures. This game feels like something you wish was real life, which might be the biggest compliment any cozy game can ever get. Bringing a sense of wonder, adventure, and fulfillment, this is the type of game you want to get lost in for hours. I personally can't wait to pour hot drink, put on a second onesie, and sink into the coziest spot on my couch as Moonstone Island comes out sometime this year on PC and the Switch. And there we go. <laughs> 10 cozy games to fill in your year with a whole bunch of relaxing goodness. And if we missed any, I mean, there's a lot of cozy games coming out this year. Let us know in the comments below. Either way, thank you so much, so much to Virgil and Biddy for their wonderful, super cozy picks. If you want to see more of me, I'm a weird nerd and I do weird stuff on the internet over at twitch.tv slash cheesewiz. Come get all nice and cozy and come get excited, especially about games with us. 
Also, thank you so much to our patrons for keeping the lights on and supporting us above and beyond, believing in what we do here. Plus, we also got this cool website if you want to keep track of games. And finally answer the question, oh, when does that game come out again? SoonTM.com, your calendar for gaming. Either way, you're all beauties. You're all fantastic. Uh, enjoy some cozy goodness. Enjoy the cozy fire. And as always, goodbye forever. Bye-bye. Bye, Snowlakes. Stop falling down, okay? It's not what I pay you for.